Hello, welcome to tutorial 23. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Won't Get Fooled Again um, by The Who. Uh, now, um, Pete Townsend very creatively, I mean there were no polyphonic synths around in those days, very creatively used a polyphonic source, which was a Lowry organ, and then put it through the EMS VCS3 um, synthesizer. And he put it through the synthesizer to process the sound. Um, now, uh, what we're going to be using um, is I'm going to set up an organ sound on the sledge and then I'm going to do the processing part um, secondary. So first of all, the organ sound. We set off with uh, an initial setting. Here we are. And uh, oscillator one, 16 foot, triangle waveform. Oscillator two, um, now let's have a look, four foot, which is quite high. We're building up um, a, what's known as an additive synthesis method. Uh, we're going to increase the semitones there to produce a fifth. And oscillator three is two foot. So that's roughly our basic sound. Um, we're also going to put a little bit of reverb on there. Um, and these can be just sort of set to the middle there, so a rough reverb sound. Now the processing done by the EMS VCS3 uh, was using an 18 dB slope uh, filter. Um, now we haven't got an 18 dB slope filter, but we're going to use a 12 dB slope and we're going to filter that sound down to 74. Now I'm not quite sure whether Pete Townsend actually did all the filtering manually but he was playing the part uh, on the Lowry organ as well but we're going to get an LFO to do the filter sweep. So using LFO1 this time on a triangle waveform we need depth 49. Wow. Uh, we also need it to alter the cutoff. That's it. There we are. Uh, but the speed needs to be, it's a slow sweep, so it's going to be 18. It's almost like a Leslie effect, isn't it? That? So speed 18 to provide the. Um, the synth, uh, sorry, the, the, the filter sweep, if you like. Um, and now uh, we just need to alter the filter again. The key track, it's gonna, the filter's gonna open up as we get to the top of the keys. So we're almost ready to actually do the, uh, the parts. Now, uh, what we could do is two options I had was to actually play the part in on the keys manually, or to use another LFO um, to provide, originally it would have been an LFO providing a gate um, that give that chop, chopped up kind of effect on the VCS3. We haven't got a gate on the um, on the Studio Logic sledge, but we have got um, LFO2 on a square wave, and we can alter the volume of that. So we're just going to mess about a little bit with that, see what happens. It's a little bit random because if I don't get all of the notes down at the same time, it produces a slightly odd effect. So we're not going to use the LFO to provide um, the, the cut-up effect, I'm actually going to play it in. So that's what I'll do next. 